Uh, Richard Eyemonger, at least 400 hectares around Wellington here in four separate blocks. And um, I have the license on this farm park from Greater Wellington Regional Council, who own it and it's open to the public. And uh, we run sheep, cattle and deer here. Um, the deer is uh, in a farmed environment so the public can see them in that uh, environment. Uh, I've worked on properties as shepherds and head shepherds where we've had uh, one big property that was in three different uh, sectors. So we'd have to uh, TB test between each uh, area of the farm. Um, I have to do that here. This farm's under movement control so we have to test from here to the other farms. Um, and I worked on a large deer farm where we uh, had a lot of reactors but they were only avian. So uh, yeah, had a fair share of it around the place. There's been some big changes here. Um, it just needs to keep moving forward and keep progressing, keep targeting it to keep the numbers down. There's definitely a um, sign of young numbers pushing back in that we need to keep control of. From what I'm aware there's uh, ground crews that are consistently checking on the area. Yeah, I was um, talking to a couple of uh, older gentlemen in the farming industry and they said to me that um, M. Bovis today was what they dealt with, with TV, TB back in the early days. And um, I, I, as a young fellow, I didn't know too much about the old days of TB and it really surprised me when he said that. I think the best way forward for knocking TB out is um, our own farmers doing their own uh, control, uh, control of wildlife as well as monitoring their TB statuses with their testing and um, in these bigger areas we still need to be doing big drops to control it so that we can keep on top of it so um, we can't all get out into those big areas and get a good kill so we need to be uh, keeping on top of it other ways otherwise we're going to be in for some trouble.